Uh, uh, pass it to me. Now to uh. me. Now back uh. to me. What's this? Is anyone going to pass it to me or what? Pass it to me already. Uh. 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 Oh. Oh. Uh. Wow! wow. Talalo, that shot was incredible! Now we have to go look for it. Come with me. You can see a lot better from the sky. How did you get to be so strong, Talalo? Look at how many apple trees there are. And they're all full of apples. It's incredible. You're right. Talalo, next time you need to kick it softer. Look at the ball. It's right under the apple tree. Let's go get it. That's what you get for kicking the ball so hard. <laughs> huh? oh. Where's that laughter coming from? <laughs> huh? I haven't laughed so much in a long time. <laughs> it was pretty funny, wasn't it? Mr. Apple Tree, why are you so far away from the other apple trees? Well, you see, I was born in this place. And it never bothered me to be a bit farther away from my brothers. This way I can grow bigger and be more comfortable. But this year it hasn't rained very much and I haven't gotten any water. My brothers have been able to grow many apples, but I haven't been able to grow a single one. As you know, what we apple trees like to do most is grow apples, so that everyone can taste how good they are. Uh-huh. Is there anything we can do to help you? Not unless you can make it rain and make the wind take all these dead leaves away. Anyway, I hope that one day you can taste my apples. We've got to go now, Mr. Apple Tree. But don't you worry, we'll try and help you real soon. My friends, we need to help Mr. Apple Tree. The poor guy has no water and hasn't been able to produce any apples. Um, what can we do to help? What a great idea, Talalo. We'll make Mr. Apple Tree as good as new. It's raining. I can't believe it. Water! Lots of water! This is totally awesome! It's you! Thank you so much for doing this! Look at Mr. Tree. He's got flowers growing out of his head. That's strange, isn't it? Moo Moo, those flowers grow out of all the apple trees. And they will all turn into apples in just a few days. Good morning, Mr. Apple Tree. You sure have a lot of flowers now. All those flowers are so pretty. Thank you, my friends. When my apples are ripe, you can eat as many as you like. That's great. I want a basketful just for me. We'll check back soon to see how many apples there are. See you tomorrow. It's amazing how many apples there are. Hurry, hurry. Come here, everyone. You are not going to believe this. It's incredible. I see hundreds and hundreds of apples. It's awesome how many there are. Are all of you ready? Are we ready for what? 
Mr. Apple Tree for so much fruit. They are all for you for having been so kind. See you later. That was a lot of fun. We should go to the forest and look for trees, and if we see that they're dry, we'll give them lots of water. Yes, it's wonderful. Look how many apples Mr. Apple Tree has given us. Everyone look at me. I'm a tree with flowers on my head. And these apples are so good. Um, um, um. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Me neither. The only thing I heard all night long was Moo Moo snoring. We've got to do something about it because I couldn't take another night like that. We could sleep out in the garden inside a tent. I got it. Why don't we build a tree house and make Moo Moo sleep there so we can finally get some sleep? Poor Moo Moo. It's not her fault she snores so much. She has a bad cold. Fine, whatever the reason is, we still have to build the tree house. Don't you agree? All right, let's go get everything ready. My friends, as you all know, Moo Moo hasn't stopped snoring, and we haven't been able to get sleep at all. So we're going to build a tree house so we can get some sleep and relax. I thought Alfred was the one that snored. Excuse me, Rita, but you should know that I don't snore. I breathe with style. Whatever you say, Alfred. We have everything ready to start building it. So everybody do what Milo says. I want my own room with a double bed and three mirrors. I don't know why you want so many mirrors when you always dress the same. Ahem, what are you saying? Are you insinuating that I don't have style? No, no, that's not what I meant. Of course not. Milo, whenever you want, we are ready. Well, fine. The first thing we have to do is get everyone up top. Let's get on the platform. Good. Now everybody get to work. Rita and Olga, you can start building the walls. Talalo and Alfred will prepare the ladder. I'll help out wherever I can. Hello, my friends. Hey, what's going on? Mumu, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be doing your homework? I already finished. What are you doing? We wanted to surprise you. We built a house just for you up here in the tree. <laughs> Thank you, but I already have a house. Why would I want another? Moo Moo, the problem is that you snore like a lion and we can't sleep with all that snoring. So we built you this little house so that you could sleep here. You're throwing me out of my house because I snore? <laughs> I'm so sad. But we all need to rest. And with all your snoring, none of us can sleep. <laughs> I'm so sad. You don't want me to sleep with you in the same house. You don't love me anymore. Moo Moo, we're sorry. I'll tell you what we'll do. This house is for all of us, and we're going to sleep here all together starting tonight. Am I also going to sleep here? We're all going to sleep <gasps> here. You'll see how uh -huh. much fun it'll be. Come yeah! on, quit crying and help us finish it.
thank you, friends, for this beautiful house. And don't worry, because I promise I won't snore tonight. Not even a little. Quit snoring! I'm not the one snoring. It's Moo Moo! What can we do to make her quit snoring? We can make that noise that people make when somebody's snoring. I know which one. It sounds like she stopped. Finally. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. night. Good night. Alfred! Make that noise again, really loud this time. Let's see if she shuts up. Alfred? Alfred! Alfred fell asleep. I can't believe it. Now Alfred is snoring. Now Rita is snoring. This is a nightmare. Now you're snoring too, Milo? You know what? I'm going to go home now so I can sleep all by myself. Good night. It's been a while since I've come here. This place is always filled with sheep. Yeah, I know. The sheep are a bit confused, don't you think? You could call it that. I say they're very confused. They never notice what's going on around them. <laughs> I bet you, if we stood right in the middle of them, they wouldn't even notice. And how would we do that? That's easy. We disguise ourselves as sheep and go and visit them. They'll think we're sheep, and when we're among the herd, we'll start running and shouting and we'll scare them. But why do you want to scare them when they're so peaceful? And besides, where are we going to find the costumes? Ah, uh, it's a scientific experiment, Moo Moo. I want to prove that they won't notice a thing unless we scare them. As far as the, the costumes, that's easy. Since sheep have so much wool once a year, they have to be sheared. And all the wool is kept. We'll go and get that wool. And what should we tell the others? The truth, that they should wait here and that we'll be disguised as sheep. Momo and I are going to do a few things. We'll be right back. What are you two up to? We're not up to anything. Rita wants to do a science experiment, even if I don't really understand it. We're going to go look for some wool to disguise ourselves. <laughs> yes, that. That's it, to disguise ourselves. We'll be right back. Those two are definitely up to something. Today they seem pretty calm, and I don't think they're doing anything bad. That bit about wanting to disguise themselves for some scientific experiment doesn't sit right with me. When they come back, we'll see where it was they went. This disguise is going to be awesome. Come on out. Come out and let me see it. Wait a second, ah. I've almost got it. <laughs> you left some wool for me, didn't you? Are you almost ready? Woo! Everything's set. Are you ready, Moo Moo? Do I look like a sheep? Wow, that's awesome. You look like a long-necked sheep. <laughs> now it's my turn. Hurry and come out already! But that fits you perfectly! You'll see how cool this is going to be! <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen those two. Where could they have gone? Don't worry, they'll be here soon. Look at those two strange-looking sheep. Yeah, they do seem odd. I don't know, there's something strange about those two. Are you all blind? Those two sheep are Moo Moo and Rita disguised as sheep. Oh, you're right. Where are they going? <laughs> this is easy. 
easier than I thought it would be. This is cool. Now what do we do? Let's keep bellowing and soon you'll see how my scientific experiment will unfold successfully. Ba 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 what? What are they doing? Let them play. Nothing's going to happen to them. That's not necessarily true. When Alfreda the sheepdog sees that they're not sheep, she'll throw a fit and, and stop biting them. Shouldn't we warn them? Let them learn a lesson. Okay, Moo Moo, are you ready to scare them now? <laughs> yeah, yes I am. How do we do it? We'll count to three and then we'll scare them. All right, sounds good. One... Two... I hope you both learned your lesson. Jump in the water, Rita! Woof, woof, woof. That's brilliant! I'm floating! All right, I'm floating too! Bolt doesn't float, Momo! Where did you get this wool? Quack, quack, quack! Quack! Look over there! It's quack. Momo! Everyone look! Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> hey guys, you coming in? Milo, you coming? Alfred, you coming? Don't worry about me. You go ahead. Hello. Hello. Quack, 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 quack. Ha, ha, ha.